That's why king there. And now is it going to be mate if king here, queen g7, bishop h5. And it's mate. King moves and then mate here. Incredible. Magnus Carlsen wins in 17 seconds, but Chess Bras win in style. You will see live recordings of each bullet game, but before that I will go through the opening theory to suggest ideas that you can use in your own games. There will be four parts to this video. Part one is the opening theory. Part two will be the live recording of Carlsen's amazing win. Part three is the opening theory. Part four will be the live recording of Chess Bras brilliant win. Who are the Chess Bras? They are Eric Hansen and Aman Hambleton. Two Canadian Grandmasters. Carlsen has white chess bras of black. d4, knight f6, c4, e6, knight c3, bishop b4. We have the Nimzo Indian defense. Knight f3, castle, bishop g5. White pins the knight to the queen. Black pins the knight to the king. h6, attacking the bishop, just move it back, maintain the pin. d5, black can strike in the center, now e3. When you play a move like e3, you have a pawn chain in the center. The bishop now defends the pawn on c4. In this position, black has a few moves. So black could play c5, and after take, take. A few moves here, you can take on c5, get your bishop out to e2, and then just quick moves. Castle, put your rook on c1 on the half-open file, and time it. Play a3 to chase that bishop away. After e3, if black plays b6, you can take first, let's say, and then get the bishop out to d3, to e2. And after bishop e2, white can castle. Same moves as before, rook c1 and then time it with a3. Just kick this bishop away. White can also time it by putting his knight on e5. Black can get his pieces out this way. This bishop can come out to b7. The knight can come to d7, so then the knights defend each other. Rook can occupy a half open file. Another way to play. Alongside this, you can play c5, opting for a pawn break. You can take in the center, or even just advance with c4. After e3, bishop back to e7. Black just gets rid of the pin, get the bishop out, take, take, a6. Castle, b5. Bishop can come back to d3. Another option here was to play knight d7, which might be a little bit more accurate as we will see very soon Carlsen plays an amazing move, making sure the knights defend each other first. Then chess bra can go b5 with bishop b7 as well, and then c5, go for a pawn break. you got to aim for a pawn break in order to free your position. Get your pieces flowing. After castle, b5, bishop back to d3, keeping it on this diagonal, bishop b7. Opening theory is now over. Now for the live recording of this bullet game. d4, knight f6, c4, e6, knight c3. We have the Nimzo, bishop g5, bishop h4, e3, bishop back to e7, bishop d3, take, take, a6, castle, b5, bishop d3, bishop b7. He takes early, then he offers this trade, and now this bishop is absolutely dead. If it's black's move here, one, rook can go to c8 as well, and then c5, getting this pawn break in. Because this pawn, is a weakness. In this position, Carlsen shows a wonderful understanding. He deliberately gets rid of the knight on f6. But why? Because after bishop takes bishop e4, he puts his bishop on e4, competing for this diagonal. Black actually played c6, just trapping his own bishop. One option was to play take take. And in this position, white's moves just flow. They are very, very easy. The knights sit very well in the center. The knight can even come to e5. White could put his rook on c1, but also put your queen on c2. So then you're putting pressure on this pawn. So many easy moves for white. Bishop e4, c6, already black's position is very, very cramped. What a cool way to trade. Bishop back to b1, threatening mate, and then now knight e4. Bishop e7, knight e5. Look at the knight dancing in the middle. Now he crashes through. Wow, knight d6 and queen g6, what a cool way to crash through. Rook c1, putting future pressure on this pawn. Queen b6, defending. So, so then knight can come out, the rook can come to d8 as well, facing the queen. Bishop b1, deliberately retreating the queen, so then he can try to create a queen bishop battery. A queen bishop attack. Also, option for the knight to come into the center. Rook d8, queen c2, going for a checkmate. 
black nail blocks, knight e4 attacking the bishop, but also giving himself the option to come into the c5 square. Notice the way white has played this game, it restricts black from making very easy moves. Black cannot get this move in in order to get this piece in again. Also, this is a backward pawn. Bishop e7, knight e5, couple of knights right in the middle. White has a superior position. Knight d7, makes sense. Chesbra wants to swap off this knight, but Carlsen now crashes through in style. Knight takes f7 played. If king takes, which was played, knight d6 check. This is a double knight sacrifice. Queen and bishop line up. So bishop takes knight. Queen takes g6 checked. Now if king e7, queen g7, king g8, bishop g is mate so that's why king there and now is it going to be mate if king here queen g7 bishop h5 and it's mate king moves and then mate here incredible the king goes to f8 queen takes pawn check the king has to move it's got many squares but it doesn't matter all the light squares this bishop can now come in the game so king f7 bishop g6 check king can go to many squares if you go back here then we have a nice mating pattern when the king goes to f8, you put the queen on f7 and it will be mate. If king f6, as played in the game, if king here is actually faster. So king f6, bishop h5, check. Black squares are running out. If king comes up, it's mate in one. Queen g6. No squares for the black king. If king back, then it is mate in one. In this position, chess bra resigned. King e7, queen g7 is mate. So this is a brilliant double knight sacrifice game by Magnus Carlsen. Crushing chess bras in 17 seconds. Next up, we are going to look at chess bra winning in style. Chess bras have white, Carlsen has black, e4, e6, d4, d5. We have the French defense, knight c3. In this position, you can get your knight out, knight f6. The classical variation, you can play bishop b4, which is the winner of variation or the Vinava variation. I think the W's are pronounced as V's. You can also play two pawn moves here. You can play a6, which we see in the game, or even h6. a6 was played, let's check this move out. Looks like a nothing move, but in the future, we're gonna say this move can be useful for black because you can play b5 to get space. Here, I can play a few moves. You can take on d5, you can play bishop e3, you can play knight f3. Knight f3 played in the game. Bishop e3, I just want to mention, this is entirely possible because this could transpose into the French classical. Black can challenge the center. You push, knight d7, and now f4. And we get this structure where white has more space, as he normally does in the French defense. You've got three pawns in the center. Black can play b5, c5 to get counterplay on the left, c5. Played. knight f3, knight c6 let's say, challenging the center, and queen d2, and the game goes on, even b5. In this position, yeah, there are a few moves. You can take on c5, move the bishop, even this knight move, so then the knight can come to f2, and then one, two. White can actually castle kingside. Lots of options, but in the game, knight f3 was played by chess brass. Knight f6, e5, knight d7. This pawn chain might crumble. Magnus is going to play c5 or f6 to chip away. So that's why white played knight e2, because after c5, c3, you give yourself the chance to maintain a pawn chain in the center. F pawn is not there. So you move your knight out of the way, you play c3, and you give yourself this option. Knight c6, let's say, and there are, these are the plans for black. Time it, maybe black will take in the center. Maybe black will get his queen out to b6 b5 first, then queen b6. This bishop can come out and then he can castle. How to get this piece out? Well, this French defense now turns into a king's Indian attack. Let's play g3 and after b5 with queen b6, even b4 to chip away at white center. Bishop g2, a5. Carlson is just getting on with his play. King is still in the middle and castle. Now white is totally safe. Bishop a6 is possible. Sensible move is bishop e7 and then we can continue with the counterplay for black. Bishop e7 guards this square, so no knight or bishop can come here. Black can castle next. Black can play b4 along with bishop a6. 
finding a way to capture white center just to open it up because black has less space this is what he has to do opening theory is now over coming up live recording of chess bras winning in style e4 e6 french defense knight c3 a6 knight f3 knight f6 knight d7 i just transpose into classical french c5 c3 knight c6 but very early expansion bishop a6 wow and then b4 right call cool. but then carlson's king is still in the center so bishop b4 wow how fast are his moves just development castle bishop a6 this bishop looks better than this because b4 is going to happen knight f4 attacking the center an idea of crashing through in style b4 played attacking the rook rook e1 facing the king bishop e7 should be played and then ready to castle but after bishop b takes c3 we have this capture take take now he could play knight d5 or knight g5 so i want to show you this one let's say here take e6 take crashing through in style if king f7 knight g5 check so nope for example this check and then bishop d5 i mean that that is going to be mate c takes c4 bishop b4 this is why carlson decided to take in the center because then he can get this bishop out in one move bishop d2 castle h4 cool but then carlson's king is still in the center so bishop b4 wow how fast are his moves just development now the rook is on the half open c file and we get this kind of structure again notice this is what's happening in this match wow this kind of idea where carlson is always going for this knight here bishop here sometimes knight f6 check wow crashing through in style so carlson has none of it king just sidesteps no way to crash through maybe queen h5 and then oh how's a way what's a way to crash through maybe knight g6 check is that too much rook d1 played first queen c3 knight g6 check dun dun this move has a few ideas with this pawn move you control the g5 square with the knight and the pawn this bishop can come out to h3 also you can play h5 h6 this pawn is now an attacker rook c8 occupying the open file a3 forcing a decision on this bishop it can come back to e7 to act as a defender take take h6 knight h2 typical way to reroute in these kind of positions when you move the knight back then knight g4 and you try to crash through knight b6 coming into c4 knight g4 knight c4 queen back to d1 defending the knight but also maybe the queen can actually come to d5 also the queen needs to stay here to defend this because the knight was attacking now carlson plays queen b6 so then he has knight and queen on it knight f6 check crashing through in style king h8 queen h5 and after queen takes d4 in a couple of moves time chess bra plays an absolutely brilliant move but the funny thing is he can actually play that move in this position he did not need to play rook d1 and after queen c3 then play the move but we'll just take it from here pause the video now or let the timer run can you see a brilliant move here for white to crash through in style even though carlson won in 17 seconds chess bra wins in style the brilliant move is queen g6 and that is checkmate if you take then that is a beautiful double knight mate absolutely amazing i'm so glad that i captured this moment live when i was commentating on this bullet match at the same time after queen g6 is game over carlson took the knight so then you're stopping mate on h7 but white now takes h6 with check king g8 and after take on f6 that is going to be mate and there's no good way to stop it you can give up your queen but it doesn't matter your queen down game over also it's going to be made very soon because this is the square you want to go after so one and then you can come on g7 dun, dun, that is amazing if that works chess bra well played sir if that works chess bra congrats i can't believe i saw this live that is one incredible finish against carlson because you watched all the way until the end you may also enjoy this video carlson winning in 39 seconds against belarus grandmaster sergey shigalko if not why not check out this other video